What's going on guys? I'm Danny and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Guys, how are you? How's everything? I hope all of you guys have been well. Um, obviously, the world has gone to hell since I posted my last video. Um, I've had a stockpile of Blu-rays and 4Ks and movies that I've been wanting to show off to you guys for some time now, but they, it just, it built up and then when I was about to film it, everything with this, New York, everything with this coronavirus, uh, just really hit hard and New York has been getting slammed and it's affected my family, it's affected a lot and uh, just time has been very scarce and uh, and I, I just, I, I, I didn't know what to do, when to upload, what to do, uh, but I, but I, you know, I have a lot of stuff here that I've been wanting to show off to you guys. I mean, I must have like a hundred things here. I'll count them later on, I'll put it in the title, um, but I want to show things off to you guys and alright, so now I have a bunch of stuff that I bought, a bunch of stuff that was sent to me. I cannot go over every single one of these. They have built up and I figured uh, with the, everything going on, the least I can do for you guys, for myself, for the studios who've sent me stuff is at least show some of the titles off. Even if I don't go into detail about a lot of them, I just want you guys to know that they are out there and maybe you guys would be interested in them. So that's what we're going to do here. Again, we have Blu-rays, 4Ks, Criterion, Steelbooks, Arrow Video, Mill Creek, Warner Archive, um, A24, some collector's items uh, or some press release stuff. And there's just a lot of things going on. This is going to be quite a long video, so sit down, grab your popcorn, let's get right to it. Uh, right off the bat, guys, I have to give a big shout out because uh, I met these guys on Instagram. They're two brothers, and I'm such a big fan. They love movies. Uh, they run the website and the uh, social media HD Movie Source, and they're just really, really nice guys. Very passionate about film. Uh, make sure you guys go follow them. They sent me a couple of things because they knew that I was I was in distress. So uh, first and foremost. Um, they just recently uh, sent me the 4K of Black Hawk. Yeah, sorry, the 4K of Black Hawk Down, um, Doctor Sleep, and A24's The Kill Team, which is actually really good. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I highly recommend it. Um, they sent that to me, but uh, one thing that I really, really like, greatly appreciated aside from that is they'd seen in a couple of my videos that some of my cases were like crushed that had gotten sent to me, and uh, 4K cases and Blu-ray cases, and they went out of their way. Uh, actually, here is one of the ones that I received. You can see right here is actually uh, absolutely crushed. Um, uh, they went out of their way to send me a handful of cases. So uh, if you guys are ever in need of uh, Blu-ray or 4K cases, HD Movie Source, they have them. And uh, they are available and prices are workable. They're always giving discounts. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to message me. We'll make some money, you know what I'm saying? All right, anyway guys, now that that's out of the way, I have so many things to show you guys. Um, we're going uh, TV shows right now. Let's go into the Warner Archive stuff because there are so many and Warner's been putting out some great things and I personally didn't know about this for a while and I'm just, I need you guys to be aware of some of these things also. I had no idea some of these are, uh, were even uh, in existence. So first up here we have the uh, ultimate, uh, sorry, the complete series of Justice League Unlimited on Blu-ray. I used to be such a big fan of Justice League Unlimited and Justice League the cartoon. Um, had no idea that there was a complete series uh, out on Blu-ray. And I think the, this just shined into your guys' eyes. Apologies. But really, really awesome. Uh, definitely check that out. If you guys are a fan, I'd love to, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, all right. Hold on. I'll put this to the side. This matches with it. Then we also have the complete series of uh, Teen Titans. This is uh, before it went to Teen Titans Go. The complete series right there. Big, big fan of this one as well. Of, of course, love this animation so much better. Um, then, uh, some really great ones they, they put out. I used to love this as a kid. Uh, my whole family used to watch them. We have Volumes 1, Volumes 2, and Volumes 3 of the 1940s of Popeye the Sailor Man cartoon. Really, really awesome. You, I grew up watching these. My family used to love them. My grandfather used to love them. So, really, really cool to have those in the collection. Um, something else that Warner Archive actually just released uh, is uh, Tex Avery, The Screwballs Classic Volume 1. And then they also released, uh, again, another show I used to watch before I go to school, uh, Tom and Jerry's uh, Golden Collection Volume 1, 37 remastered uh, cartoons. So really awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, and now, aside from that stuff, we have a bunch of other titles here from uh, Warner Archive. First and foremost... We have Guys and Dolls, of course that's starring uh, Marlon Brando, Gene Simmons, Frank Sinatra, and Vivian Blaine, put that right there. Uh, we have Samaran, 
Another one that I grew up with, um, I may have shown this off before. I did. I realized that I had another copy. Uh, I grew up with this watching with my grandmother. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Always really, really enjoyed that one. Um, we have two on a, on a guillotine and underwater. We have, um, you, you, okay, hold on, before I show this one, we have Sparkle. And then we have your boy Sylvester Stallone in Victory. I cannot wait to watch this one. I have never seen this, honestly, and Stallone, I'm just such a massive fan. Again, guys, I'm not going to go into detail on a lot of them. Some I've seen in the past. I have not opened a lot of these up, um, so I, but I just wanted to show them off to you guys. Uh, we have two different uh, versions and editions here of A Star is Born. This one is, uh, of course, with uh, Barbara Streisand. And then this one is A Star is Born with Judy Garland. Really, really nice. Uh, we have uh, Dodsworth. And it started with a kiss. Had to add so many of these to the collection. Uh, we have A Little Romance. And then Gregory Peck in The Stalking Moon. Love Western films. Um, then two TV shows that we got here that are from, well, one TV show that we got here from, uh, uh, Warner Archive is the revival series of Will and Grace. We have seasons one and seasons two. My mother is a tremendous fan of that show. Whoa, almost lost a couple of those. Um, and, uh, again, a couple other Warner titles. These were mainly War, uh, Warner Brothers titles. Uh, TV shows, we have Swamp Thing, the complete series. There was really only one, but... It was actually really good, and you could see on the back right there how great uh, he looked. A shame that they had to stop this series. I wish they would have picked it up again. And then another series that uh, Warner Brothers has been doing really well um, is uh, Titans. This is the complete second season of Titans. Really cool. You can see the cast on there. Or the, uh, the, the characters have expanded a lot from season one. Um, next up, a couple other titles that I really, really wanted to grab here. Um... We have, uh, because I'm becoming a big fan of uh, Florence Pugh, we have uh, Lady Macbeth. Always wanted to see this, so I had to grab that one. Put that right there. Um, couple uh, Sony, Pictures, uh, Sony Pictures Classics titles that I didn't even realize had come out and I had to grab them. Um, this right here is, where are we, where are we? Um, Robert De Niro in The Comedian. Saw this in theaters, thought it was okay, but I'm a big fan of De Niro. And, I mean, the cast is actually really big. Uh, Robert De Niro, Leslie Mann, Danny DeVito, Eddie Falco, Charles Gro uh, This is just, wow, there's so many. Harvey Keitel, I forgot. Really, but it was okay. It wasn't the best movie ever. Uh, sort of theaters, actually. Um, and then Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. Another film that I have never seen. And I know a lot of people always say towards Christmas time, Eight Crazy Nights is coming out. Um, or Eight Crazy Nights is on TV. And I just, I've never gotten the chance to see it. So when I saw it was on Blu-ray, I had to grab that. Um, and then another film that uh, an ex made me watch, but it was actually decent uh, from Par is, I think it's Paramount Pictures. I'm not too sure. Uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Wanted to add that to the collection. Very, very nice. Um, I don't know who I'm telling that. Uh, next up, actually, uh, Bill Skarsgård and is it uh, Micah Monroe? Blake, but man, this, these names. Yeah, I don't know these names well, uh, but I do know Bill Skarsgård. And this is Villains. And this was actually a pretty fun movie. These guys are a bunch of robbers, uh, uh, burglars, a uh, boyfriend-girlfriend, and they break into a house, and um, I guess the car breaks down, they break into a house, and they wind up finding that uh, the, the people that they broke into, or the house that they broke into, uh, is owned by some pretty psychotic people. So uh, it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of funny moments, and yeah, enjoyable. I say check that one out. Um, let's see. Next up. We have uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in The Odd Couple. And we have the original uh, Little Women starring a, a big cast actually right there. Really nice. Sorry guys, I'm plowing through them. I just, I wanted to show these off to you guys. Uh, from Wellgo USA, we have a couple titles here. Uh, the first one is The Climbers. And this is about a group of, I believe, uh, Chinese people who decided to climb Mount Everest. And this is based on a true story and everything that they went through. Um, I did enjoy it. I love snowy setting movies, so I thought that was great. Um, some of the acting was really good as well, uh, but a little over the top, over dramatic, and some CGI that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Um, but I always like uh, watching uh, Mount Everest stories. 
Um, next up, we have another addition in the uh, the classic series, uh, starring Donnie Yen. We have Ip Man Four, and you know what? I enjoyed it. I liked it. Uh, I think they should. You know, I hope it's the Ip Man Four the finale. Is it really going to be the finale? They'll probably come up with something else. Uh, Ip Man Cyborg uh, is next, but. Uh, really good. Donnie Yen is a beast, and this was uh, a really good watch. I want to get this on 4K. I need the slipcover for this. Um, uh, from Sony Pictures, we have a title that I just watched the other day. Actually, it was pretty darn good. Um, it's a slow burn, but this one is uh, starring Tim Roth and Clive Owen. This is The Song of Names, uh, based on two uh, unlikely friends during wartime who got separated, and uh, uh, they became best friends. They got separated, and years later, I think 30, 40 years later, they... Uh, one of the guys goes to find the other one. Um, really, really nice. And uh, Sony was nice enough to send us also with the, the book. So, really, really cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sony. Not even watching the video. Um, <laughs> next up, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, I did a video, uh, an update video a while back, uh, showing off a title called The Fear Footage. And uh, they uh, were kind enough to send me their sequel, which just got released not too long ago. Uh, this, of course, is The Fear Footage 2, Curse of the Tape. Comes in a really, really cool red uh, Blu-ray case. Um, they, just like in the last one, they had a note uh, with a whole bunch of stuff. They put a lot of detail into this. This one has a, a map covered in blood. Really cool, uh, fun movie, and you gotta support your indie, uh, your indie filmmakers. I recommend you guys checking them out. Go support them. I think the red cases have sold out. I think they sold out pretty quickly. Um, but I highly recommend. Uh, they actually sent this in, which I'm trying to get it on right now. They sent this in a black evidence bag. And they did uh, something similar with the first one as well. So really, really nice. Always, guys, always got to support indie films. Uh, it, you just, you have to. Um, bunch of titles here that I absolutely loved that I found out were on Blu-ray that I didn't think were going to get Blu-ray releases a while back that I had to pick up. Uh, we have Sally Hawkins and Ethan Hawke in Morty. Based on a true story, both fantastic performances. Um, I, this was the first film I had seen with Sally Hawkins before she was in The Shape of Water. Uh, so, I mean, just fantastic, fantastic. Um, it really, I mean, performance, top-notch. Um, next one is uh, Stan and Ollie. And then we have uh, another great film, Sony Pictures Classic. I think most of these here, no, okay, so not all of them Sony Pictures Classic, but we have uh, The Rider, another really, really good film. Did not think that that one got a Blu-ray release for some reason. I uh, was finally able to pick this up, One uh, a film that I've been wanting to see for a long time. I've never seen it. Everybody raves about it. This one is Fright Night. Uh, the, everybody, I know, everyone's going to get on my case about that one. Um, next up, we have a couple comedies. This one, again, starring Adam Sandler. This one is Spanglish, which I haven't seen in so many years, but I really remember enjoying it. And then we have Kicking and Screaming, starring Will Ferrell. Again, uh, I haven't seen it in ages, but just a lot of fun. Um, and next up, a film I'm such a big fan of, uh, Mr. Rogers, and I absolutely love this, so I had to grab this one, guys. This is Won't You Be My Neighbor. As you can see, so many things here are just unopened, and that's because as I was purchasing stuff, the world went to hell, and there was just, there's just been no time to dive into everything. Um, uh, another couple titles, uh, of that being the case, we have, uh, Burt Reynolds, Sally Field, and Jackie Gleason in Smokey and the Bandit 2. And then we have uh, Danny DeVito and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Junior, which another film I haven't seen in a long time. Some great Arnold Schwarzenegger pregnancy right there. <laughs> um, next up, guys, uh, this is from Neon Films. Uh, this is Manos. And man, what uh, cinematography, what performance. Really, really, really good. I recommend you guys checking this one out. Highly recommend. Uh, Neon is like, I want to I call it an A24 rival. But I just, I lean on the side of A24 much more than I do with Neon, but that's the deal with that. Next up, guys, I have a bunch of stuff here from Mill Creek Entertainment. They've been post they've been putting out a ton of great, great stuff. Um, first and foremost, I want to show off some of it. They've been doing this a lot. I love when they do these. Uh, they've been doing, uh, putting out some uh, films with VHS slipcovers. So I love when they do that. My collection of those is tremendous now. Uh, first up, we have Richard Gere and Kim Basinger in No Mercy. Really cool. Uh, we have uh, When a Stranger Calls, and we have uh, Hudson Hawk and Vibes. Really cool. Love, love, love the VHS slipcovers. Big fan of those. I wish more studios would do them. There was a point where they were doing them a lot. Um, and then, guys, they've been putting out some fantastic TV shows, stuff that my, my whole family's been watching. Um, I'll show this to you guys. Uh, first and foremost, we have... Uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, the complete series. 
my brother absolutely loved this, so I cannot wait to sit down and watch this with him. Um, and the same thing, he was a big fan of this one as well. This is the complete series of The Mindy Project. Now, again, guys, these are Blu-rays. Um, a show that I, I grew up watching. I love, love, love this show. Big fan of Kevin James here. Um, we have the complete series of The King of Queens. Such a good show. And then this just came in the mail the other day, guys. Another show my brother and I used to watch and crack our heads up. Nope, that doesn't even make sense. We used to watch this and we used to laugh a lot. Um, and this is the complete series of 30 Rock. And this will be available soon. Uh, so make sure you are on the lookout for that, guys. Complete series. Big, big, big fan. Um, uh, and then they've been putting out these, uh, the, uh, oh my gosh, the Ultraman series in all different, uh, the Ultraman series is tremendous. It's like Power Rangers, but they've been putting them out uh, little by little. They got the rights to all of them. Uh, first up here, we have Ultraman Orb, the origin saga. Really cool. Um, and then they sent me the steelbook of Ultraman, Return of Ultraman. Really nice. Again, they did such a great job. Uh, with these steel books, this is series four. Um, wow, the disc is actually falling out right here. Trying to get that back in, but really, really nice, gorgeous. I love the coloring on it too. They did such a such a good job, um, and it's gonna look. They, I love uh, how they all look lined up together too. So really cool. Um, and then they also sent um, this. Just came in the mail today, actually. Ultraman, uh, the movie. Here comes our Ultraman. There you go. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Really cool. And a couple other films that they just sent. Uh, we have All the Pretty Horses. We have Trapped. And then we have Henry Winkler and Sally Field and Harrison Ford in Heroes. And Kirk Douglas and John Schneider in uh, Eddie Mason's Run. So really cool, man. Again, I love what Mill Creek's been doing. Really, really a big fan of what they've been doing. Putting out so many great things. And alright guys, next up from Paramount Pictures and FYE, we have an exclusive... Tommy Boy Steelbook, guys. Now, I didn't open this up because I wanted to see it in person with you. I do know that there is a big dent on it, unfortunately. Um, but I wanted to show it off with you guys. I'm a big fan. I mean, Chris Farley is my favorite comedian. David Spade is great, too. But I, I, Chris Farley was always my favorite comedian. I, I mean, I'm still heartbroken that he passed away. Um, but again, here is the front. It's a glossy steelbook. Uh, let's take the J card off and see how the back looks. There is the back. I didn't even get to see it. Uh, the deer in the <laughs> the deer uh, inside of uh, the car. Uh, there is a cool shot of the front and the back. Plain Blu-ray disc, but then a cool shot inside. We have some awesome inside artwork as well. Really, really nice. Wow, big fan of the Steelbook, man. And what a great movie, guys. If you haven't seen Tommy Boy, you don't know what you're missing. Go check out Tommy Boy. Um, now, guys, I have a few titles here from Epic Films. Uh, the first one is uh, starring Justin Long, and this one is The Wave. And this one was so trippy, but it was actually really well acted, a lot of fun, and I actually wound up really enjoying it. If you haven't checked out The Wave, uh, definitely check it out. It's about uh, a, a, a Justin Long's character is about to get a raise. He goes out to celebrate. He winds up doing some drugs, and it just he can't tell from uh, what's, what is the drugs. He can't tell what reality is, and it's just a, a lot of fun, honestly. I say check this one out. Um, and next up... Uh, we have for, uh, also from uh, Epic Films, we have uh, Terrifier, which I have not gotten the chance to check out just yet. Heard a lot of people really like this one. Um, we have a few titles here that I grabbed from, actually a uh, handful of titles here that I grabbed from um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. And we have, uh, how do we pronounce this? Malabimba? Ma Malabimba? <laughs> Haven't checked it out just yet. We have Olivia. We have Deadline, we have Extro 3, which looks really good, and we have Hollywood Horror House, which I saw a long time ago and was actually really good, so I'm happy that they released it. And then another one that I watched uh, from them recently is a Zombie Island Massacre. Ridiculous, um, but this was a lot of fun. Super, super cheese. Um, I think, I'm not sure if these some of these had lenticular slipcovers or not. Um, but yeah, super, super cheese. Guys, they're on an island, they're trying to survive. Um, there's some backstabbing, there's some zombies. Uh, just a, a lot of fun. I recommend you guys checking this one out. Um, next up, I have a few titles here from Criterion Collection, which I had to pick up. Uh, first one here uh, is from Spike Lee. This one is Bamboozled. Next up, we have uh, Antonio uh, Jowdy or Gowdy. 
and all about my mother. And then a really, really nice one that, uh, that I had to grab from Criteria. And this one is uh, The Three Fantastic Journeys of uh, Carol Zeman. Okay, and this one includes Journey to the Beginning of Time, Invention for Destruction, and the fabulous Baron uh, Munchausen. And guys, this is such a cool release. Check this out. Look at the artwork, right? And they did a really great job. Let me push this to the side really quick because I know something's about to fall out. Um, they did, it's all in pop-up form. So check this out. Look at this. Really nice. Look at that. How cool is that, man? Criterion, seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Criterion is always doing their thing. Such a big fan. Uh, gorgeous release. I haven't even had the chance to check these out yet. Uh, but I can't wait because, you know, what a damn presentation. Um, speaking of Criterion, I just got done watching The Tree of Life for the first time. Beautiful. Criterion did a fantastic job with that. Um, now, a few Arrow, uh, Arrow video releases here. Um, we have a couple uh, horror films, Deadly Matter. And we have, uh, this one I actually really enjoyed, uh, Edge of the Axe. Kept you guessing the whole entire time. Really fun. Great, uh, I guess, slasher film. Um, and then uh, two really cool slipcover releases here. We have The Passion of Darkly Moon uh, with a really great cast in there. Uh, Brendan Fraser, Ashley Judd, and Viggo Morrison. Really, really nice. And then we have the One Miss Cole trilogy. Again, another slipcover release. Gorgeous. Love the look of the slipcover. Uh, love the films. I, th or actually, I think I've seen the first two. Haven't seen the last one. Uh, very entertaining films. So let's go ahead and let's put that to the side. Now let's go over these slipcover titles here. Um, first and foremost, another title based on a true story from Mogul USA. This is The Captain. Um, this one is about, uh, pretty sure it was a true story. It's about uh, it, uh, it, the captain of a plane. Uh, him and a bunch of passengers are flying the plane. And um, I think the windshield uh, breaks. Yeah, it's the windshield that breaks. And he has to fly around and try and keep the plane above and keep everybody alive. And a uh, very exciting story. Uh, the acting was okay, a little over the top for my taste, but um, just really great story, honestly. Uh, next up from 20th Century Fox, we have the animated film starring Will Smith and Tom Holland. This one is Spies in Disguise. I thought this one was a cute uh, cute film. I think kids would enjoy it. Um, entertaining, nothing too memorable in my opinion. Um, a film from Sony Pictures, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, I know a lot of people actually weren't. This is the, uh, the Grudge, the Untold Chapter. Just not a big fan. Uh, the original Grudge, obviously the best one. Uh, from Warner Brothers, we have Snatchers, a horror movie about a girl who gives birth to uh, a <laughs> she gives birth to a monster. A monster, and um, the movie was funny at times, believe it or not, but kind of ridiculous. Uh, wasn't a big fan. Uh, next up, really great film here. Uh, this one was, I mean, fantastic. This is the story of Harry Tubman. This one, of course, is called Harriet. This is from Universal Studios. Great film, highly recommend. Great music, great acting, just great story overall. Um, from what we will say, we have Takashi Mike's First Love. Again, really, really good. A guy gets uh, caught up in, uh, he gets caught up in, in this whole thing where he, he didn't belong and he falls in love with this girl who's a junkie and, uh, and just is a lot of action. It was really fun, funny at times. I definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. Um, we have the sequel uh, to Jay and, Jay and Silent Bob. We have the Jay and Silent Bob reboot right there. Um, a film that I just was not the biggest fan of at all. I wanted to be, but it just did not work out for me. Love the cast. This one is Motherless Brooklyn. Just such a slow burn. Uh, Edward Norton, Bruce Willis, not the big, biggest fan of him anymore. Uh, Alec Baldwin, Willem Dafoe, who I'm a tremendous fan of. Just It just did not do it for me. It, it, I think it was like two and a half hours long, and it felt like it was three and a half. Um, uh, next up, we have uh, Josh Hartnett in Inherit the Viper. Big, big, big fan of Josh Hartnett. I uh, thought the movie was pretty good. Nothing too amazing. Um, uh, but yeah, tremendous fan of Josh Hartnett. Uh, I gotta love him in 30 Days of Night. Um, where are we here? Uh, Sci-fi film from Wobo USA. We have Abigail. Actually, kind of surprising. I did enjoy this one more than I thought I was going to. Uh, some great visuals. A little, I don't want to say over the top. A little cheesy, but an interesting watch. Um, uh, from Wobo USA, we have The Battle of Jang Sari. This is a war film based on... Uh, I, I forget what, what, what war is it, the Korean War, and uh, some great acting in this, and you know what, uh, uh, Megan Fox is in this film, and she does a, a pretty good job, so uh, underrated uh, war film right here, I'd say check this one out. 
Um, Nicolas Cage in Primal. Ridiculous film. Ridiculous film. Nicolas Cage catches uh, catches tigers and he catches all these foreign animals and he finally catches like a white. I don't know if it's a what is it a jaguar? I forget what it is. Um, the CGI on the animal was ridiculous. Um, Nicolas Cage is acting ridiculous. So I'm sure you guys who are Nicolas Cage fans will absolutely love it. Um, next up, guys, we have Aaron Eckhart in a film that was actually pretty darn good. We have Line of Duty. Um, he wants to prove himself. Uh, something happens. I think his uh, his boss's daughter gets captured. Uh, he wants to prove himself and get her back. And the movie is actually really good, well acted, pretty touching. Uh, big fan of it, honestly. Go check that one out. Underrated. Another one that I really enjoyed here was uh, Naomi Harris and uh, Terry Gibson in Black and Blue. Nothing that we haven't seen before, but it's uh, it was definitely enjoyable, and uh, I'd say give that one a watch. Um, next up, we have Elijah Wood in Come to Daddy, uh, a more recent horror film. Elijah Wood with the most ridiculous haircut that I've ever seen. Um, creepy, weird, very odd, um, but somewhat enjoyable. I think you guys will like it. A little, a nice little horror film. Um, from Paramount Pictures, we have Tiffany Haddish, Rose Byron, uh, Rose Byron, Brian Byron, Byron. How do you say that name? Why can't I get the name? And Salma Hayek in Like a Boss. And this one just came in the other day. I got the chance to skim through it. Uh, somewhat funny, but it's just not for me. It's a, I want to call it a chick flick. Uh, Tiffany Haddish is great though, big fan. And uh, Rose Byron uh, from uh, the neighbor from Neighbors, which is was great. Um, fantastic film here, honestly. Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, Brie Larson in Just Mercy, based on true stories. It just goes to show you how corrupt the system, uh, the the system is, and um, just fantastic acting based on a true story. Highly, highly recommend. Um, of course, this one needs no introduction, guys. This one is Parasite, the winner of the Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Next up here from Lionsgate, we have uh, Adam Devine in Jexy. And this one was actually a pretty fun watch. I uh, didn't expect much from it. Adam Devine's hit or miss for me. Um, but it was pretty fun. Basically, the, the phone, it, technology nowadays, the, the phone uh, is just way too involved in his life. And basically kind of falls in love with him and controls everything that he does. Um, and uh, at one point, he really enjoys it, and then uh, it just starts becoming too much, and he tries to get away from the phone, and he can't. Uh, fun, not the best, but entertaining film. If you're a big Adam Devine fan, I'd say check that one out. Um, next up, highly underrated from last year. Um, I mean, highly underrated. Uh, we have Dark Waters. Uh, this is also based on a true story, again, of how uh, corrupt everything is, and the, the judicial uh, world just very ridiculous. You got Mark Ruffalo, Anne Hathaway, uh, Tim Robbins, and Bill Pullman. Just fantastic, fantastic film uh, based on a true story. I don't know why uh, the judiciary people, what, what, I don't even know. The, but great story, fantastic acting. Uh, everybody should watch that film. Um, next up, we have Bombshell. Again, uh, this is based on Fox News and uh, and all the, what's this guy's name in here? Um, uh, we have uh, Charlie Theron, Nicole Kidman, uh, Marvel Robbie, John Lithgow, and uh, based on, I guess, it, it, was it the Me Too movement? I don't really know if it, it, it might have been, but it was uh, about how dirty some of these guys are and how, how much they, get, they just try to abuse their power and get away with things. Again, fantastic performances. I thought the movie was okay, but the performances were great. Um, another one that was pretty enjoyable, this is from Universal Studios. This is the uh, modern day uh, Bonnie and Clyde. This is Queen and Slim. Enjoyable, uh, great performances from the two uh, actors right there, and uh, really cool slipcover. Uh, next up, a title that actually, again, really surprised me. We have Jack Courtney, uh, Nat Wolf, uh, and a whole bunch of other people in Semper Fi. Um, they are all soldiers, uh, two of them uh, being brothers. Uh, one of the brothers uh, gets a wrongful sentence because it, it just there's an accident that happens, somebody gets killed, and... Um, and it just wasn't on purpose, and they all kind of get together. The older friends get together and and try and get him out of uh, of prison. And honestly, really, really good movie. Powerful performances. Very underrated. Um, another title here from uh, Paramount Pictures. It's actually uh, a three movie collection of Beverly Hills Cop starring Eddie Murphy. All great. Um, and then the next three here, guys. You guys know me. A twenty four. Absolutely love my A twenty four. We have. In Fabric, I didn't open this up, but I did watch the movie. Uh, In Fabric, this is a burn-on-demand release. Um, a weird, creepy horror film about a dress who haunts people. Interesting, 
Not amazing, but pretty fun. Next up, we have Adam Sandler, the man in Uncut Gems. Tremendous fan of Adam Sandler, always have been. I thought this movie was great, kept you on the edge of your seat the whole entire time. Adam Sandler did a fantastic job. I showed off some of the other stuff that I had gotten uh, from the uh, Uncut Gems pop-up shop in New York City. Uh, really, really cool. Highly, highly recommend uh, Uncut Gems. And then finally from A24, w one of my favorites of last year, uh, not just from A24 in general. This one I believe is massively underrated, and this one is Waves. Fantastic performance, I mean, fantastic visuals, uh, story, acting, uh, uh, just the music, the score, everything about it, incredible. I highly, highly, highly recommend Waves. Um, and you know what? Before I go on, I actually worked with uh, uh, somebody to get, uh, I could leave uh, the uh, print flips, I think the name is. I, I'm, I'm going to leave the link in uh, down below. He's on Instagram. Uh, we did uh, uh, a ghost story, lenticular magnet before. This one we did for uh, uh, Green Room. Big, big fan. I know you guys are going to love this. Uh, I wanted to change a few things on it, but we didn't get the chance to. Uh, but still, nonetheless, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So I had to show it off to you guys no matter what. Absolutely beautiful. Big, big, big fan. Green Room, one of my favorite A24 films. And I just love, love, love how that looks. I've been dying to show that off to you guys for a while now. Uh, finally, guys, I have a handful of eight, uh, 4K uh, films that I want to show off to you guys before it gets too dark and I totally lose you. Um, first and foremost here, um, we have a, a war film, which uh, I, you had, let's say you had Midway and you had 1917. This one here is Midway. Looks fantastic on 4K. Was just not a fan of the film, uh, unfortunately. I mean, it had some moments, but I just wasn't a big fan. But they did happen to send it with some cool uh, Midway Aviator glasses, which I thought was a nice little perk. Um, maybe it needs another watch. A lot of people seem to really love it, but I just, I could not get into it, honestly. Um, next up here uh, from Sony Pictures, we have Zombieland Double Tap. One that I was kind of afraid that was not going to be great. But I actually really wound up enjoying it, and uh, the whole cast is just great, and it's funny, and it's just full of zombies, and just really cool, keeps you on the edge of your seat also. And they also sent me this awesome tiny little uh, candle, it's a zombie candle, and I'm not sure if it's going to focus, but it, when you burn it, it bleeds. How awesome is that, man? I don't want to burn it. I don't want to burn it. Next up here, guys, we have uh, from RLJE Films, we have VFW. Uh, which looks great on 4K, a little dark for my taste, but looks great on 4K, um, about a group of ex-soldiers um, who are hanging out in their bar, and a bunch of druggies break in, and it just it's an all-out brawl, and just brutal and bloody, and I think a lot of people would really enjoy this, kind of have like a, like a, uh, I think it's, did they say it's the same producer, director of, um, who was it, uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99? Uh, uh, Bone Tom, I don't remember, but it's really, really entertaining. I'd say re I recommend you guys checking that one out. Um, next up, guys, I mean, we have from BBC, um, great, great, I love when BBC puts stuff out, man. This one is Seven Worlds, uh, Seven Worlds, One Planet, absolute reference, 4K, gorgeous, beautiful, highly recommend, especially if you're into stuff like that. Um, we have Ford versus Ferrari which was really good. I believe I spoke about the Blu-ray in a different video. Um, love Ford vs. Ferrari. Great performances. Crazy story. Um, next up from, uh, this is also from Vinegar Syndrome, uh, starring Denise Richards and Paul Walker, we have Tammy and the T-Rex. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Paul Walker's character gets killed and his brain gets put into a animatronic T-Rex. And I think that's all I need to say about that one. Really fun, honestly. I recommend you guys checking that one out. Um, I got this one on eBay really cheap. Finally, I wanted to get this on 4K. This is Green Room. Um, and then I got this on Amazon super, super cheap. This was um, Gary Oldman in, uh, in Darkest Hour. So really cool there. Another film I just had a blast with. I thought this was super good. Very underrated. Jojo Rabbit. Well, underrated in a sense. I think uh, people didn't give it as much time of the day as I had hoped. Um, uh, we have uh, Frozen 2. Really great, honestly, watched it with my niece uh, not too long ago. Very, very enjoyable. I think a good sequel to Frozen 1, but I think Frozen 1, I liked it a little bit better. Um, we have just a tremendous cast, a great film, Knives Out, kept you guessing the whole entire time. Uh, had such a fantastic time with this movie. I thought everybody did a great job. Great 4K. Um, and then a movie I wasn't a biggest fan of. This is a DC animated film. This is Superman Red Sun. Not the biggest fan of this one. 
A lot of people seem to enjoy the story, but I think they enjoy the story a little bit better in the comics. Um, uh, second to last here, guys, we have Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker, and I thought this one was great. It looks absolutely phenomenal on 4K. I did an unboxing for this, uh, so very, very nice. Gotta love Star Wars. Looks great on 4K. Great special features. And then finally, one of my favorite films of last year. This was the better version of uh, the better war film, in my opinion, 1917. Absolutely loved the way that it was shot. Um, I just thought it was truly fantastic. And, um, and yeah, I mean, I did an unboxing for the, uh, the 4K Steelbook uh, Best Buy exclusive as well. So if you haven't seen that, feel free to go and check that out. And you know what, actually, that, was, uh, that Steelbook was sent to me uh, from High Def Ninja. So highly recommend them. Check them out, guys. Um, they also just sent me, I got this in the mail uh, yesterday. Um, this is their exclusive... Zombieland Blu-ray uh, Steelbook slip cover, I believe, and when you put black light on it, I obviously I just can't do that now. When you put black light on it, it has the rules of Zombieland, which is super super cool. And then they were kind enough to also send me uh, the 4K Ultra HD of Zootopia. So I'll just go ahead and show that off to you guys really quick. I didn't get the chance to to open this up, so we'll just do this now, right? This video is long enough. Hopefully, some of you guys have stuck with me a little bit here, because what else do we have to do during this uh, the apocalypse? Right, so this is the Best Buy exclusive 4K of Zootopia. There you go, there's the front, there is the back, and we actually really, really nice. Love all the characters on there. Some great disc art in here, and uh, some really, really nice inside artwork as well. So, really cool. Um, that does it, guys. This was a tremendous, tremendous update video, uh, slash review video. Uh, it's going to be close to an hour. I could see that happening clear as day. Um, and I don't usually do stuff like that, but I mean, what are you going to do? Um, I had to get these out. I wanted to show them off to you guys. It was taking forever. And I just want to apologize to you, to any of the studios that sent me something that just took long to show it off. Um, listen, obviously life has gone crazy. I want to finish this off with uh, my deepest wishes uh, and love to each and every one of you guys and your families. I pray everybody's doing well and keeping healthy. Um, and I just, just stay strong through all of this. If you guys need anything, feel free. You can message me, you can write me, and uh, and I will be here to uh, to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. My update videos will never be this long again. I am never doing this again. Um, but I'm glad if you stuck around or skipped around. I, I, I'm grateful and, uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Take care, guys. As always, I'm Danny. This is the Blu-ray Dan channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.